making some barley frumen tea, which sounds like a strange disease, but actually frumen tea is a basically a peel off of sorts, except that it's extremely wet. We won't make it quite as wet as they did historically. Um, I was asked to put something together for a dinner tonight <clears throat> and they wanted something vegetarian. I love barley. It is very hearty and inexpensive and a great alternative to rice. It is not, however, gluten-free. So um, that's one of the drawbacks to it. I wish it was because I adore barley. So I have three onions that are sauteing in my Instapot right now with some uh, avocado oil and about uh, five cloves of garlic. I have about three cups of barley soaking. Uh, remember, I'm making this for a big number of people. You can always cut this in half. I have two pounds of uh, cultivated mushrooms that I'm gonna be using. And as you can see, I'm cutting off the stems and I'm setting them aside. Um, you can use the stems, you, can, you have to clean the ends and stuff, but basically it makes it easier for prep to not have to deal with them. So since I have to trim them, I just cut them off entirely. And then I save my mushroom ends along with my onions, my garlic uh, ends, um, onion pieces, I take out some of the skins because they can get too much, but they give a beautiful color. And <coughs> if you watched me <coughs> cook before, you know that I save my carrots, my celery, all those things, um, except cruciferous and brassicas, which are your cabbage or stinky, stinky vegetables. And then what I'm gonna do is chop these up uh, and they're gonna go and get sauteed. So what we're trying to do in size here is kind of mimic the size of the barley so that we don't have enormous pieces of mushroom in our bite of food in the end. So back to the stock for a second. Um, I'm going to take all those ingredients that I've set aside, the onion, the, the garlic, carrots, celery, um, my herbs sometimes, herb ends or stems and things that you don't use definitely parsley if you're not using the stems of the parsley for anything which by the way you should um i i chop all that or chop all that up throw that all up into a pot um with and cover it with water and bring it to a simmer throw in some bay leaves and maybe some extra herbs so a little bit of salt um you do need some salt to help draw out some of the flavors and and then you can make yourself your own free vegetable stock. Um, obviously, I keep it in the freezer in between. I'm going to throw a little dose of this in here just because these mushrooms are going to really start to soak up whatever's in that pot. In my Instapot, which I use a fair amount. I'm not a real gadgety person, but I do like the Instapot for speed. Now, this dish... Um, should simmer for quite a long time. You really want it to be creamy. Um, we're going to add a lot of stock to this. So those three cups of barley, and this is pearled barley, not pot barley, will probably take about nine cups of water um, to achieve what we want. And we may have to adjust as we, as we go, depending on how much barley absorbs. But... Very, very simple recipe. I'll repeat it for you. Three large onions, chopped, sauteed in some oil of your choice. Two pounds of mushrooms, chopped. Again, sauteed in the oil of your choice. Um, about a teaspoon of salt, really. I'm gonna use a jarred stock called Better Than Bouillon. They have a roasted vegetable one that I really like for vegetarian options. Um, actually, this one is like a fake beef. So it's like roasted vegetables. I love it. Okay, let's get this stirred up a little bit before it burns on the bottom of the pot. 
what we're doing is we're getting some of the flavor from these onions, garlic, and mushrooms to sweat out. And um, here we go. And then another thing I like to add to this, although they, they actually wouldn't have put onions or garlic, I don't think, in historically either. It was a very simple dish, but was also using beef stock. So, you know, you had that extra fat and flavor. Um, I like to add thyme to my uh, barley frumenty because it is a real woodsy flavor. It complements really well with the onions and the mushrooms. And um, as it does with beef, I love thyme with my beef when I cook it, which I've been cutting back a lot lately on meat recipes um, for health and, and for cost, frankly. Um, and uh, I think it just works really well with, with that combination. So um, I'm going to continue to chop these up. I'm going to take a break, come back, and show you the next step.